service which uh, they implement in Scanjur project and how it useful can be uh, while testing and I believe that all of you will pick up something useful and interesting for you. Welcome our speaker, speaker Thomas Peterson. Thank you, thank you. Yes, um, so this presentation is about Team Foundation Server 2010 and uh, giving the subtitle from a sister's perspective. So it's going to be a, uh, a demo about what Team Foundation Server can bring for testers and uh, some very uh, fast demos on, on some of the features that are useful for, for the testing company. And also some of, of the information you can pull out of this. So let, let's dig into what's on the agenda here. So I'm having a, a short slide on, uh, on what Scanture is and what we're doing there. Uh, we are the test manager in Scanture. Uh, I'll have one short slide on uh, the TFS suite. I'll have a, a, a few slides on what you can get out of it. And then there's going to be a lot of demos out here. So uh, if the, the, the connection to the servers in Denmark fails, then I have absolutely nothing out of it. So, so let's, let's hope that's not going to happen. Um, so, So Scantio, uh, we have a, uh, we are in Denmark. We have an independent software vendor with about 150 employees. Uh, we use uh, we create a, a standard product, a few standard products for uh, case and document handling for the Danish, primarily for the Danish state. Um, and we're selling this directly or, or through partners. And, and as you see, we have about 80% of the Danish central administration, so we, we are pretty heavy on that. So it's a, a pretty big and, and complicated product we have, I think we can easily say. Um, and about me, I've uh, been working with IT for the last 13 years, five years as a, a lead in Microsoft testing. Uh, two years as a BI consultant, and why that's interesting, I'll show you in just one second. And the rest of it, I've been a developer. And uh, just a little fun fact for people that uh, use uh, coding in, uh, in test. Spec Explorer, that's a fantastic tool that you should uh, try to look at uh, if, if you're into uh, doing some model-based testing. Just a fun fact. So, Visual Studio. That's a big, sweet team foundation, so it's going to price it up. So it will help you do a lot of things that when you're working on a, on a product uh, in the software. So you have a project management, you have a requirement management, you have the entire suite of version control and test uh, control and automation and build and uh, execution of test. And all of that packs into one product. That's what we are deploying in Genshu. Uh, and you can see all of these things that it plugs into SharePoint. It has a Team Explorer as a web uh, interface as well. And of course, it's built on the entire Visual Studio suite. What you see up here, it says professional. That's something I'll go to, to show you here because that's really at the core of what uh, Team Foundation Server can bring to, to the team. And on, on the bottom of, of all of this, there's a new feature called Lab Management that we're also implementing in, uh, in Scanshu, which is uh, basically a very uh, comprehensive uh, solution for managing virtual environments when you are testing. So you can deploy virtual environments like you can for VMware, it's just integrated directly into the solution. Um, so that's something we're also building in. So Team Foundation Server is really a huge suite of products that should help you with the entire uh, software development process. And uh, now I'm jumping directly into what you can get out of it. Because when you look at this screen, 
you should say, ooh, nice colors and, and nice report. Um, and, and what is this really telling us? This is really an interesting report because this is called the storage overview. Uh, that's a standard report. So what this tells you is that over here we have based some requirements. We've made a requirement that as a returning customer I want to order meals, blah, blah, blah. So the developers will implement features for that. The tasks for making uh, as a new returning customer, uh, we have completed 78% of those. That's a fairly good overview of how many hours we finished on the product, uh, project. As we see, this 17 it might not be such a big uh, feature. Uh, but we're 78% done on that. Now, from a tes tester's point of view, you'll see here that there is, yeah, so this, this is a, a standard report, so you'll see that out of two, we can't get 48%. But anyways, uh, this is taken from, uh, from uh, I'll show the real report in a minute. Um, so, but here you can see that of the test, uh, uh, the test uh, cases we have for this particular requirement, we have finished 48% of those. Those 48% have failed. We have 52% uh, that are not run. And as you see, they haven't found any bugs. So. That's a bit peculiar when you have failed a test case, but uh, maybe it's a test case that's something wrong with it. But this report gives you a very quick overview of the status of your product, both from a, a planning point of view, how far are we with finishing the features, but particularly with how far are we from finish the, finishing the testing of this feature. This is interesting, and I'll show you exactly how everything maps into uh, these numbers and how, how you get this almost for free if you register the right things. Before that, I'll show you a little bit more about all of the things that you can pull out of this uh, GFS system. And this is where my BI background also comes in because I think this is fantastic from a management point of view. Because everything you do in Team Foundation Server is being stored in the data warehouse. Everything. Everything you do, code your bug reports, uh, and they've been compiled into some of these dashboards where you can see all of these uh, graphs that you can pull out of the system. Uh, so this one is a bug chart where you can see how many bugs are we doing over time, a priority, trends of those, and so they've made a few of these dashboards. You can see how the builds are going, how much code churn is the development team doing, which is very interesting in the end phases of a product, uh, as you don't want to have culture when you are going to release a product. Then there's, uh, there, there's a few more here. Uh, burn down, how are you, the product, uh, the task being burned down on the time. Um, you can make your own dashboard with uh, connections. So all of these graphs is something that you can pull out of the system. You can also make your own uh, your own uh, reports, uh, but much of this is coming from standard from TFS. So very fast, very quick. No more slides. I'll jump directly into doing some demos here. Um, so <coughs> let me just pull up here. 